Her name we have re but I just go. Stupid SD cards. Now she's got an SD card in her. Guess what? I built something. Only one step. So it's super nice out today. I thought uh, I would uh, do it with a garage door open and get some natural sunlight on my big dumb face. Check this out. Looking good out there, huh? So yeah, I built something. I built something that everybody on YouTube that works in wood seems to build soon after they start making a shop. I made a shop vac pre-filter. So what is a shop vac pre-filter, you say? It's that bucket that you see that is attached to somebody's shop vac that takes all the sawdust and dumps it in the bottom of the bin before the shop vac sucks it up. And what that does is it keeps your shop vac filter nice and clean and it doesn't clog up the, the paper filter too fast. So I took my standard generic big box bucket and I wanted to come up with a solution with that because I got a ton of them. So I went to Lowe's. I found the Gamma Seal. Yeah. The Gamma Seal is $8 at Lowe's. This is rad. What you do with this is you put it over the top of your bucket and it creates this lid that you can unscrew. See here. You just pound the lid onto the bucket. Drill a hole in the top. Then thread the PVC adapter into the top. That's the lid portion. Now, to move on and to make my pre-filter, we have to modify the bucket itself a little bit. For the bucket, I just cut this funny shaped hole inside. It's sort of like a half a circle and half an oval. And in that funny shaped hole, I inserted a piece of an old vacuum attachment. And I got this idea from Ryan Nodwell on ShopBuilt. He, um, he's the one that did this originally. He's the person I completely copied this from. So you cut a hole in there, put your vacuum attachment in there just like this, and then I attached it with nuts and bolts because I knew it would take a lot of stress right there, so I wanted to make sure it didn't move. Once it was all attached with nuts and bolts, I siliconed up all the, the cut spots and the open spots that might leak. Then I just attached all the hoses up and tested it. You put the, uh, in the top part of the bucket, you put your shot back hose, and on the side, you put your hose that you're going to suction up things with. As you can see here, all the sawdust got sucked up, fell to the bottom, and I'm gonna take this out and hold it for later so I can snort it. So that's stage one of this pre-filter project. In stage two, I plan on making a cart for all this so it's easy to move around the shop and plug into various uh, tools I need to remove sawdust from. So stay tuned until next time when part two, we make the rest of the shop cart. And we also do a lot more fun stuff in this garage this summer. I have a bandsaw that I'm refurbishing. I have a radial arm saw and a miter saw I'm installing in the same workstation. You guys haven't even seen my table saw yet that I built just recently. Everything's new, everything's fun, and everything's coming soon. I'm only